Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashim Rochakodash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and greetings and salutations to Achim, upholding testimony of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. This is the book of Luke, the 11th chapter, in the ninth verse, and it reads, And I say unto you, ask, and it shall be given you, seek ye, I'm reading from the top, it says, And I say unto you, ask. And it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Not, and it shall be open unto you. What is it? We're asking for what? Seeking for what? Knocking for what? I said it. It's in, um, I'm going to answer that with the scripture, by the way. Sweet part of me. It's, four, it's John 14. Yeah. This is John, the 14th chapter. In the sixth, in the sixth verse, it says, Yahweh Shah saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So you have, you have to understand Yahweh Shai is that door. If you want to deal with if you want to deal with the Heavenly Father knocking is you praying to Yahweh Shai and he um sending your prayers up to the Heavenly Father. Why? Because he is the mediator. He's that's the scripture calls the propitiation. Let me get that. It's in Hebrews one I want. Let me see. Yeah, let's go to Hebrews eight. This is Hebrews the eighth chapter. In the sixth verse, it says, But now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry. A more excellent ministry, meaning a more excellent position of service. All right. And so you have to understand the script. That's why the scripture says, he that is greatest among you, let him be your servant. Did not you have shall wipe the, wash the disciples feet? Yes, he did that. Was he not the greatest? Yes, he is that. That's an example for us all. That's an example for us all. It says, But now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry by how much also he is the mediator. So he is the door, the, 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 the portal, which if I'm not mistaken, the term portal comes from um, a Latin um, portra, I believe, which means door, if I'm not mistaken, roughly phrasing, which means door. And he is the, the portal to the heavens, the portal to understanding and wisdom, the portal to peace and immortality, the portal to the fourth heavens. All of that comes through Yahweh Shai. That's why, that's one of the reasons that makes him so important. It says, but how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant. See, so he's a mediator of, because the first covenant, right, which the physical mediator was Moses. But the um, and Moses in the priesthood, 
So because Moses, he wasn't, a, of course, a son of Aaron, but he was of the direct line of Aaron's father because him and Aaron were brothers. So yes, Moses wasn't of the high priest, but Moses was really higher. He was higher than the high priest. He was a Levite too, but he was higher than the high priest. He was higher than his brother Aaron, which all the high priests have to descend from Aaron, but he was the big brother of Aaron. You see? So, we're talking about Moses. But the scripture says, I'm going to read this part again, because you got to understand, Moses in the high priesthood of Aaron, that was the mediator of the old covenant. But Yahweh Shah being Melchizedek, all right, Melat tells Adat, he is the mediator of the latter, which is the one in which he died on the cross for, for our sins. And then we will inherit that the the fruit of that covenant at the, his second coming. It says, "Which was established upon better promises." So, better promises are coming through our Lord and Savior Yahweh. We can't get complacent with what this life has to offer because it doesn't have anything to offer. Just that's why the scripture said, does it not say, for the, and I believe it's in the book of Peter, it says, for the fashion of this world passive, passive away. Now when you go into that term fashion, you get the term, a Greek term, some would say, schime or schime, which this meaning manner of life. So the manner of life, the governmental structure, the social structure, the your physical wealth, your ownership of whatever, it's going to pass away. Your money, your status, all of that's going to pass away when Yahweh shall return. And the only thing that's going to stand is, shoot, essentially, if you were right with Yahweh Shah or not, that's the only thing that's going to stand, man. If not, then it's... It's over with through the spirit. It's over with. That's why we grind. That's why we, you know, and we we gotta do more. I'm beyond Zakim. I speak for myself. We have to do more through the spirit. We have to be balanced. We have to be composed. We have to be disciplined. We have. We can't just be out here, you know. When you you have, it has to be strategy in the spirit. We're not. We're not just trying to. You know, have content to have content. That's why we say, that's what the scripture says, let all things be done unto edification. So our purpose is what? Edificate, to build up the spirit, build up the soul. But when we do that, and we do that on a consistent basis, we are going to make things happen through the spirit, which we have. That's why you got Israelites throughout the four corners of the earth. Um, you know, Believing in Yahweh Masha, you know, following the apostles and elders, a great millstone. You got the Israelites throughout Germany. You got you got the brothers throughout Holland. You got the brothers in Tanzania and Nigeria. You understand? You got the brothers in um, Colombia. You got the brother in Bogota, Colombia. You know, shalom to all the Ike in the four in the four corners. And now check it. We in Hebrews the eighth chapter, right? Let's go down the verse. Let's just keep reading. We're going to keep reading. It says, for, because you got to understand, the Gentiles who had fallen from their first estate, being the Israelites, Israelite foreigners, and so on and so forth, they're being reconciled back to the Heavenly Father through Yahusha. All right? So, like the Native American Indians, like the the Jews who were scattered to um, India. The Jews that were scattered to Pakistan, the Israelites, you know, the Lord fishing his elect. It's not about okay, you are Israelite, that's that's cool, but it's not it's deeper than being an Israelite. You have to be of the spirit of the promise. You have to actually believe in the truth. You know. But um I'm gonna continue to read. It says uh verse seven. It says, for if that first covenant had been faultless, 
then should no place have been sought for the second. For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant. See, it says, with the house of Israel. <sighs> Excuse me. It says, I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. So that's not talking about other nations. It's just talking about the Israelites, the northern and southern kingdom. All 12 tribes. It just said that in verse 8. Verse 9, it says, Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers. Showing you talking about the biblical Israelites. It says, In the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. <clears throat> pardon me, Egypt. Because they continued not in my covenant. And I regarded them not, saith the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people. Mm -hmm. And this is nothing but the mercy of Yahweh. I mean, I'm sure that's going to grant us access into immortality and the peace. Even when we've sinned and gone on and done Wickedly in his sight, you know, is nothing but the mercy and grace of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, Bashim Akakwadash. Are we able to have this opportunity of reconciliation? All right, to be reconciled back to the Heavenly Father, and that's through who? The mediator. That's through Yahweh you know, so. We must give thanks. All right. So, yeah, this is just a quick one through the Spirit. Nothing too tedious, but the point being made through the Spirit. Um, uh, if anybody have any questions? I know it's a lot of Israelites, you know, waking up through the Spirit. If, you know, anybody has any questions regarding any breakdowns, um, as far as um, edification of the scriptures, of course, you should be seeking. You should be looking these things up. Uh, really, to be honest, most of the breakdowns and everything are already up online on on YouTube. You know, you just got to you got to see, you got to you got to dig. But in honesty, if it's a, a sincere question that one might have, you know, as brothers, as you know. Myself, you know, other brothers who've um, labored for this wisdom through the um, the leadership of our apostles. You know, because we're not doing this for nothing. We're doing this to edify our people. And um, hopefully seal the elect or fulfill, um, you know, our mission. All right. Given to us by our Lord and Savior. So... I will give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakhakudash, the Honor City Elders and the Apostles of Great Millstone. And salutation to you, Akim Shalom. We keep the faith. Shalom. Shalom.